Yeah, so, so far we've been watching Big Mac move around a little bit, straight line at a walk, trot, um, figure eights at a walk, looking for any asymmetries, any signs of pain or <laughs> some sort of issue somewhere that might, you know, kind of lend us to target in on a specific area, do some more diagnostics, maybe block, maybe imaging, etc. Uh, we're going to start doing some flexions to, to kind of um, peel back the layers of the onion a little bit more and we'll see what we find. It would make more sense to find it on a more lame leg, but... And three, two, one. And three, two, one. So far, we've done our dynamic evaluation on him. He's got a pretty significant left hind lameness, positive both the lower limb and upper limb flexion. So before doing any blocks or anything along those lines, we're gonna do some imaging, kind of check all our main spots, hawk stifle suspensory, and, and see what all that looks like. A few things on him. One is both straight line and left and right circle on the lunge line. Strong left hind lameness. He's got a little bit of drop in this left hind fetlock too, which in a 20 year old horse makes me think that there might be a little bit of degenerative suspensory ligament disease going on or degenerative suspensory ligament desmitis. So we're gonna take a close look at that suspensory ligament in addition to checking some other spots higher up. We'll see what we find. Right now we're doing an ultrasound of the medial compartment of the stifle. It's called the medial femorotibial joint. Looking at the medial meniscus, medial collateral ligament, medial femorotibial joint capsule. Looking for signs of injury, inflammation, arthritis, any cause of pain that would result in the lameness we're seeing on him out there. So looking at this medial suspensory branch, we do have some fibrosis, so scar tissue, some edema, inflammatory fluid, and bony surface changes on the insertion on that uh, sesamoid bone on this medial suspensory branch. So we're on the right stifle here, again medial compartment, so medial femorotibial joint. That's this joint capsule right here. This is the medial meniscus here. This is a little bone spur on this medial femoral epicondyle. And if we come a little bit further collar or back, we get a view of this medial meniscus. And we can see that it's fairly degenerative. We all have kind of irregular shape. It should be a pretty nice kind of perfect triangle through here. This is fibrosis or scar tissue around it. We've got some lesions here, those darker spots, that's inflammatory fluid, um, tissue disruption, etc. Now this is his more sound leg, but so far this is the most significant abnormality that we've found. It would make more sense to find it on his more lame leg, but that's how it is. Found multiple little things. We do have a little bit of degenerative suspensory ligament desmitis, um, kind of in light of that, in light of age. We're going to go conservative. We're going to put them on some anti-inflammatories in the form of Prevacox or Equiox and start on some Adequan to support the joints. Kind of go the conservative route, see how he does. And at the end of the day, you know, client's okay with him kind of, you know, being more retired, pasture pet, um, especially in light of that suspensory ligament disease. So yeah, we're going to keep on moving forward.